How much does inflammation uh, play into your, the longevity of your life? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. It's one of these hallmarks that it, if inflammation is going up too fast, that's basically your clock You're is aging. accelerated. Yeah. So how do we get rid of inflammation? Well, there are a number of ways. One is do these things yeah. and turn on your longevity genes, which are anti-inflammatory. Mm. Uh, other ways, I'm still taking a little aspirin every day. Mm. Um, the data still looks pretty good for that. Taking an aspirin. Yeah, 81 just, milligrams a day. That just takes away inflammation? Yeah, mostly in, in your blood vessels. Wow. Um, but you need to take it for a long time, of course, I sure. think, to wow. stop that. Resveratrol is anti-inflammatory. Um, and remember how I said those mice have beautiful arteries, no fat on them. Really? So that's good. Huh. Yeah, but basically it's that. And But overeating and being obese is going to massively turn up inflammation. Wow. Yeah. Within a few weeks, you'll you'll do it. Just eating bad food for a few weeks will turn it up. And fasting will kill inflammation. Exactly. Wow. But you might say, well, if your immune system isn't overactive, what about getting sick? It turns out your immune system gets heightened. But inflammation, chronic inflammation, gets dampened. Oh. So when you talk to a centenarian and say, did you used to get sick? They say, can't remember last time I got sick. In my, you know, centenarian? Centenarian. People who live over 100. Okay. Uh, so that's a hallmark. They don't remember longevity. when they got sick. They don't get sick. They rarely get even a, a sniffle or a cold. How is that possible? Well, they have massive immune systems. So even if someone sneezes on them, that virus is, is attacked and killed. But here's the thing, since I've been eating and living the right way over the last few years, since that terrible, scary test, uh, I haven't gotten got sick. No sickness? Not no once. cold, the flu? No. And I'm on planes, people are sneezing on me, I've got, we've got three kids, they're always sick. What if you got like, a, what if you ate something that had like food poisoning that would fight against that too, or is that kind of hard to defend? Good question, against? I don't know. I don't know, but I haven't. Chicken haven't, or something, you know, it's like. I haven't had food poisoning recently, but it might just be that I can afford better food now. <laughs>